Good morning, how you doing guys? Hope you're all well. Um, it's Monday morning and I'm very disappointed with myself because very foolishly I booked a session with my personal trainer, Mick, who you'll see now in a few minutes. Now I book him with Mick probably every six to eight weeks. He gives me two new programs, but he also takes my body fats and measurements. This will be the first time he has done so since Christmas, so uh, it's going to be fairly bleak news, coupled with the fact that it was my birthday this week, so we celebrated. We celebrated a lot over the weekend, so the results can vary that much depending on whether you've had a night out or not. Let's see how it goes. So this is Mick. Mick, say hello. How you doing? You good? Yeah, look, he's got the calipers. So this is the bit I hate. It's when you take my measurements. Yes. Pinching my fat and tell me how much fat I have. I had a really bad weekend. I had a tub of Ben and Jerry's caramel choo choo last night. How much carrot cake did you have? I know carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> so first sight, we're going to come underneath the chin. Okay. So if you look straight forward to me, uh, we'll just grab underneath there. Okay. I'm coming in on your cheek, so. Put your hand on your hip, keep facing forwards. Next side, we're going to come off this is your pec, and we'll go for your tricep. So, this is the back fat now. Only your back fat. That's your, your hands are really gold, you know that? <laughs> Bloody hell, you could have given them a little rub. Hey, turn your side on, hand up on the back of your head. We're just coming off your ribs, off the hips. Turn the face straight forwards towards me. 10 sites. How bad was your weekend? <laughs> <laughs> so your body fat today is coming in at 12.6%. Oh. I think that's a new record. Isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's the worst it's been in a long time. That's really bad news. I actually, like, it's Monday and everything, but I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I'm back home after what's been a fairly busy day and uh, just about getting over the shock of having the highest body fat in quite some time. Um, but I've been thinking about it as well, actually, and just to put it into perspective, I think that, you know, body fat is very personal. It depends on what your goals are, depends on how long you've been training. Um, some people are very comfortable at having a much higher body fat. Some people are more comfortable being very, very lean. And actually, one thing I found was, I'd say about six to nine months ago, I had my lowest body fat ever, which I mentioned earlier on. It was about six, six and a half percent, which is extremely low. I was very ripped in terms of looking at my stomach, but I didn't feel great. And actually I think that I looked far too thin. So for me, a comfortable body fat is around 10%. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there. Obviously we're all confronted with these magazines and images and messages of, you know, the perfect six pack or eight pack or whatever it is, but it's just about finding the happy medium for you. I love cake, I love ice cream, I love food, I love life. And I'm not willing to sacrifice on any of that. Uh, just to have a washboard stomach. But at the same time, it's good to set goals. So Mick set me the target of kind of really watching what I eat for the next, say, 10 to 14 days. I already know that I have quite a few events and dinners coming up, so it will be, you know, tricky, but I guess it's just about passing on dessert and maybe making slightly wiser choices. But at the same time, you've got to live your life. But I'll keep you posted.